Makul Dada, what do you think of some of the uh, mushroom teas in terms of foraging those sort of stuff? Uh, any tips on recommendation? Uh, I would I would say if you're foraging mushrooms, uh, I, I would say make sure you know what it is that you are doing. There are no mushrooms. As the saying goes, uh, let me see if I can say this correctly. There are no uh, mushroom pickers that experiment with mushrooms uh, without knowing what they are. Uh, I'm not saying it properly. This is, this is sort of a phrase that comes around. Uh, there are no old uh, elderly mushroom pickers that uh, threw caution to the wind and ate something that they didn't know what it was 100%, right? And one of the things with mushrooms, mushroom teas, like one of the reasons that um, people brew mushrooms, especially shaman and the tribal, you brew... The mushrooms you didn't eat the mushrooms was because if because there are mushrooms that mimic other mushrooms right so and they're poisonous if by accident you pick if you pick a batch of mushrooms and you're gonna brew the tea if by accident you had a toxic mushroom in there then that toxicity is diluted within the liquid so you're not getting a huge dose of toxicity into your body right as opposed to and let's say 10 people are sharing this liquid as opposed to taking 10 of these things and each person eats 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 one of the mushrooms the cap and the stem right and if one of those mushrooms is toxic that's one person dead right 10 percent of the people died right not a good thing to happen but if you brew the tea and if one of the mushrooms was toxic out of 10 then maybe there will be a bad trip for all 10 people maybe people will get diarrhea a little bit of vomiting right but no one will die so it's about dilution okay it's about dilution 